consider the function g, which is the hybrid function, where the rule x squared exists for x is less than 1 and negative x minus k all squared plus 2 exists for x is greater than or equal to 1. And we are asked for what values of k is the function g continuous at x equals 1. So to be continuous, we need the limits as we approach 1 from the left and the right hand sides to equal 1, and we need that to be equal to the function evaluated at 1. So to start it off, we're going to consider approaching from the left. So mathematically, we can write this as the limit as x approaches 1 with a little negative symbol up here. And from the left, where x is less than 1, the rule x squared is going to describe our function. Substituting 1 into that, and we find the limit is 1. So if we start building up our graph, we have a parabola that goes like this, and it goes until the point 1, 1, and it's got an open dot because it's not included. It's just less than 1. Next, we're going to consider the limit as we approach from the right. Mathematically, this will be the limit as x approaches 1 with a positive symbol up here. And the rule that exists for that part of the graph is negative x minus k all squared plus 2. And if we evaluate that limit by substituting 1 in, we find that this is going to approach negative 1 minus k all squared plus 2. And we know that for g of x to be continuous, the limit as x approaches 1 from the left-hand side for the function g of x must equal the limit as x approaches 1 from the right-hand side for g of x, which must also equal g evaluated at 1. So keeping that in mind, we want negative 1 minus k all squared plus 2 to equal 1. So that's the right-hand limit to equal the left-hand limit. Therefore, if we subtract 2 from both sides and then multiply through by the negative 1, we find that 1 minus k all squared should equal 1. Therefore, 1 minus k should equal plus or minus the square root of 1. And now solving that for k will give k is equal to 0 or k is equal to 2. So they are the values that would make g of x continuous at x equals 1. And now in terms of what that means for the function, we could either have this happening, if k is equal to 0, or if k is equal to 1, we could have this happening. In both cases, we have a continuous function that we could draw without lifting our pen from the paper. So on this slide, we've just graphed the two graphs that would come up for the different values of k. So for this blue graph, if k is equal to 0, we would have the rule y equals negative x squared plus 2. And that, you can see, is continuous at the point 1, 1. And in the red graph, if we consider k equals 2, we'd have the rule y equals negative x minus 2 all squared plus 2. And once again, you can see it would be continuous at that point x equals 1.